What's the YouTube? So, your favorite baddie, Unicorn Mermaid Princess, Germany Bad with two Ds, is back with another video. Clearly, as y'all can tell by the title, y'all already know what the fuck going on today. We are going to be talking about panels, acoustic panels to be exact. If you want to know how I did my own acoustic panels, well, how many I said I got in here? I got like 14 acoustic panels in here. If you want to know how I made my own acoustic panels and didn't have to spend a whole lot of money, then... Stay tuned. If you make music, you know, record music, if you do voiceovers, if you do anything that has to do with sound then acoustic treatment is the way to go if you don't have acoustic treatment obviously you can get something like this you know what i'm saying and hold you over get you right you know but at the same time if you want to be super extra and super like professional then you want to get some acoustic panels but the problem with getting acoustic panels is this right here you see that that's expensive what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to go to Lowe's. You go to Lowe's, and you get the big, huge pack of these. Well, depending on how many panels that you really want to make, I have 14 different panels in here. In this video, I'm also going to be telling you about how I did the ceiling panels, how we hung them. So, boom. You want to get some wood like this from Lowe's. It's very cheap. I screwed them together. So, boom, you want to get your wood you want to make squares or rectangles or however you want to do it majority of the panels that i have in here are squares which i will be showing y'all but i also have rectangular ones as well so i'm going to tell y'all how i made them super long you know what i'm saying so anyways i went to lowe's you go to lowe's and you get those you want to screw those all together make your squares make your rectangles whatever shape that you're looking for then what you're going to want to do that this is the trick and i need you to pay attention okay you're going to need to get some old ass blankets i don't care if you got to go to your grandma's house ask her for all her old blankets go to your auntie house ask her for all her old blankets if you got a whole lot of blankets at your crib you go and you get your blankets and you're gonna cut them up so after you make the panel the panel should end up looking like this right so we have our square or rectangle or whatever shape that you're looking for and then after you get your square then you take those blankets that you use that you got for your, from your grandmother house or from the thrift store or from wherever you got them from your auntie closet your mama whatever you take those blankets and then we're going take the blankets and we want to take a layer one layer from a blanket or whatever and we want to take our staple gun and staple it up in the inside of this square right it should look something like this so then not only do we just want to put one layer of a blanket in there we want to put hella blankets in there hella layers you know what i'm saying because we want our acoustic panels to actually put in some work you feel me and the point of an acoustic panel is that you don't want your voice bouncing off these hard walls hard surfaces and then coming back into to your microphone obviously we don't want that we don't want it sounding muddy we don't want it sounding crazy you feel me so now we don't want that echo or that mm -mm. you want to pack it out and tell you it can't it's no more space to pack it out you feel me like you want it to be real packed out and you want to use the thickest blankets that you could find you feel me that's going to be able to fit inside of this i think this is only about two inches so you could get bigger wood if you want no diddy you feel me you then we're gonna move on to the next step the pretty much final step and all you have to do is get your fabric of choice whatever type of fabric that you're gonna want to use now i got black fabric because to be honest i know that i'm a very colorful person you know what i'm saying but black is actually my favorite color okay so i got this black fabric and then you want to lay your panel over top of the fabric and then you want to get your staple gun and you want to fold it over and staple the fuck out of it right boom it should look like this 
ceiling panels. So I put the ceiling panels up. They was really easy. I made them exactly the same exact way that I made the other panels. All I had to do when it comes to the ceiling is I got these hooks, which I'm going to include a picture of right here. I got the hooks and I um, screwed the hooks into the ceiling. I didn't have to do no stud finding, none of that type of stuff. So boom. Then on the back of the panels, I connected some wire which it looked like this right and so then all i had to do was take the hooks that was in the ceiling and then connect the wire onto them latch the wire onto the ceiling hooks and then boom there we have it i'm going to include a video or pictures or whatever of what that looked like how it's connected up there and how like nice and like professional it looked it looked really nice but it wasn't difficult at all another thing is um i'm having this issue with my space and i don't know what the fuck is going on but anyways let me just do my outro real real quick i hope that this video really helped you out um acoustic panels in a recording area is very very much well needed if you don't have the the time or effort you're not trying to put in the effort or whatever then there's just get you one of these boo you'll be okay but if you want to go you know that extra mile that extra step then you go ahead and make these diy acoustic panels for by yourself you can do it i promise you you can i hope that this video helped you out you know when i'm saying um i hope that you know you it gave you some knowledge i hope that you decide if you do choose to build you some diy acoustic panels please let me know in the comments let me know if you're gonna do it you know what i'm saying or let me know if you're gonna spend that motherfucking money you feel me and just buy them but anyways sis make sure that you stay that bitch don't let no nigga tell you that you ain't that bitch because Jeremy bad said that you is that bitch and bro don't let no hoe tell you that you ain't that nigga you already know that you that motherfucking nigga you heard me and yeah so make sure that y'all stay tuned your favorite baddie unicorn mermaid princess Jeremy bad with two d's will be back very soon with another motherfucking video so mm -hmm, make sure that y'all you know keep up with me let me know what's going on go follow my new instagram Jeremy badass with two d's right Right here or right here or wherever i'm gonna put it y'all come fuck with your girl or whatever and make sure that y'all stay tuned because very 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 soon i promise you very 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 soon likely my next video i will be live streaming my next recording session so if you are interested in you know watching a bitch work watching how i do my ting or whatever stay tuned Left and right, that shit is trifling. Yeah, yeah. Your hoes ain't got no shame now. And your niggas say they shoot us with no aim now. My nigga, your homie finna sing now. Getting questions, stupid, ready, throw your name out. Yeah, yeah. I can't trust a soul dog. Niggas tryna knock they motherfucking woes off. No, no. Keeping up that drama. Niggas stay acting like bitches on my mind.